Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Welcome to your weekly energy check-in for December 16th through the 10, 22nd. This will be on love, life, and advice. So this is going to be a weekly energy check-in now. It's a new reading I'm doing for all the elements weekly. So we're going to see what's going on in love, what's going on in life, and then see what your advice is for the week. So welcome, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Weekly energy check-in for the earth signs. Quick little reading here. So let's see what's going on in love for you. Earth signs for the week of December 16th through the 22nd. If you're not familiar with my channel, this is Marion, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. So welcome and thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Let's see. Earth signs, December 16th through the 22nd. What's going on with you in love? Oh, I think my deck's upside down. So we have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So somebody needs to express their love or somebody may be expressing their love. And keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So soulmate energy here and keep needing to keep an open mind. So we're going to clarify with a few tarot here for the energies for the week. Earth signs, earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. 16th through the 22nd on love and life in general and advice love life and advice so let's see what's going on for you in this coming week in life for the earth sign spirit please thank you so much i'm feeling that one relationships i am attracted to those people who serve my higher good so something with relationships here and we have health i will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul this could just be uh, healthy relationships this week or working on the health of relationships this week hmm. we'll see we get into the tarot all the decks are listed below if you're interested in what decks i'm using tons of information down there how to book a personal reading uh, social media i do readings on instagram um, earth sign playlists are below for each sign so tons of stuff down there all right so let's get your advice for the week ahead advice for the week ahead for the earth signs Oop. so we have ace of gabriel that's nice energy so this is a gift of passion opportunity and an inspiration the chance to do something amazing a sense of wonder this is a very fiery passionate new beginning of some kind something that um you feel very passionate about it could be a new creative idea it could be a new relationship that's very passionate um, something new here that's exciting and on the bottom we have the moon Archangel Haniel the opportunity to improve your plans listen to your intuition for accurate guidance face your fears and grow stronger so something here uh, with the moon and the ace of Gabriel I feel like somebody um, whatever new beginning that you're setting forth on um, make sure you know all the facts you see things clearly with this new opportunity make sure you're you know you make the plans you need to make um, and listen to your gut and your intuition for guidance also and you know face those fears also about this too but the moon can you know represent not seeing things clearly so I feel like you really gonna have to know all the details do your research before you set forth on this new opportunity and that's just way too many so let's clarify keep an open mind express your love for love for you earth sign 16th through the 22nd so why is this here for keep an open mind and express your love for earth my deck's upside down okay so <coughs> we have the ace of wands again wow so this could be a fiery new passionate beginning with a lover here <laughs> could be a fire sign queen of swords so this is uh, open honest truthful communication very fiery passionate energy between two people expressing their love telling their truth feeling very passionate about each other wow let's get one more five of cups so you know that's sadness loneliness so maybe realizing you know you're sad and lonely without each other and that you're ready for this brand new fiery passionate beginning with this person and speaking truth speaking with truth and clarity saying i'm tired of being sad and lonely without you I'm ready to express my love keeping my uh, mind you know keeping an open mind here that yes maybe they may be different you know than what i've uh 
dealt with before, but I'm ready to express my love because I just can't be so sad and lonely without this person. And wow, speaking truths, fiery, passionate new beginning. That could be the same passionate beginning over here that we're talking about. Let's see what this health and relationships is about. So we have the two of wands. This is about making plans, decisions for the future. Wow, well, okay. Let's have a card go flying. So we have the seven of pentacles. So this is investing wisely. So making plans for the future here, healthy relationships, you know, maybe relationships you invested a lot in. Um, but now, you know, if there's been a period of waiting, investing with a relationship here, uh, you know, maybe making plans, whether it's with family, friends, or this lover here. Now, you know, really being able to make the plans moving forward. So maybe something was holding it back, maybe finances or something like that. Maybe you had to save or invest wait for the right time before moving forward with these plans all right so what else for these health and relationships so we got the seven of cups energy so you know that could be about um confusion options decisions so i feel like here you got two sevens which sevens is a very divinely guided number so i feel like uh seven of pentacles is that earth energy so I feel like, you know, being a little confused, like how can we make this happen? Um, you know, what can we do here as we're making these plans, decisions moving forward? Um, how can we invest? How can we save? Uh, you know, looking at all the options, you know, balancing the books, whatever here to make these plans moving forward. So I feel like, and even though that says physical health, maybe for some of you, um, it's about investing in your own health. Maybe, maybe being confused about how can I improve my health? What do I need to do? And really looking into that and now making plans moving forward to improve your health. Or oh, this is relationships improving uh, moving forward. So, all right. Because it's like you have a new relationship starting here. And this is like moving forward in that relationship. Maybe there's been a period of waiting or this could be separate. However it resonates for you. So we have over here that fiery passion new beginning again but then the moon with you know needing to know all the facts listening to your intuition knight of pentacles yeah take a slow practical approach here uh if this is a new career a new um endeavor a new passion project whatever it is for you the knight of pentacles take your time make you know very practical cautious plans steps learn everything you need to know know all your facts um here with the knight of pentacle energy don't rush into this i feel all right and the knight of swords so you have like two opposing energies here because the knight of swords is a very fast fast paced action like rebel kind of energy but then you got a, and you got them facing in opposite directions so i feel like you're going in two directions like you want to go forward very quickly move this forward very quickly but you know you need to take a slow practical approach so you're feeling like like <laughs> Like, you know, the angel on one shoulder and then like the devil on the other. So it's like you're not sure what to do. It's like you're being split in two directions about a situation here, whether it's a lover, whether it's career or something here. Four and one. So that is a stable uh, energy. So that is uh, commitment. Stay committed to this. Um, but watch your energy. I think you need to balance out your energies. This is a very stable, grounded energy with the four of ones being committed, happy home and family. Uh, so this could be a relationship committee, um, but it's just a very stable, grounded home environment and to be committed to what you are doing moving forward here, but balance, balance energies here. So we have the three of swords on the bottom of the deck. So <clears throat> in the page of pentacles and the star, so I feel like whatever you're feeling hurt and heartbroken over uh, here are earth signs with the three of swords. Um, this good news coming in with the page of pentacles, a solid offer of some kind be a wish and dream come true. So keep, you know, keep positive mind energy here. And I think whatever uh, sadness, hurt, a heartbreak here will fade away once this could be monetary coming in, material, good news, help. Um, learning something new, whatever here, offer 
which will lead to healing, faith, hope, optimism, wishes, dreams coming true, something divinely guided for you, um, earth signs. Wow. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, for your weekly energy. And uh, if you do like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Love to read the comments. I do all kind of readings on my channel. Feel free to check it out. If you do, thank you. So good luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, to always, always shine your light.